How you doing guys? We're back for another beer review. Uh, there's a bunch of new stuff in the NSLC that I saw today, so I picked a bunch of different things up. And yeah, uh, this one immediately caught my eye from uh, Central City uh, Brewing. Central City, right? Yeah. But uh, another Red Racer, new Red Racer. This is their ISA, India Session Ale. Uh, just showed up, single cans. 4% alcohol by volume, so India Session Ale. It says crisp, clean crisp ale, good bitterness and malt balance. Refreshing hop aromatics. It says it's big in flavor but highly sessionable. Okay. And let's see. Anything else interesting on here? Nope, not really. Yeah, so one thing I will say, I'm not a little, I'm not too pleased with, and I hate to sound like a uh, certain uh, beer reviewer out there, but uh, he is right when he talks about this sort of stuff. Um, you need the uh, you need the bottle on date, guys, or the can on date, uh, and this one does have it. But my uh, main crux here is that this was produced November second, 2015. And although it is a can, when you have products that are dependent on your hop character, uh, you can still run into some problems, uh, especially that many months out. Uh, like I, I think I've said on some BDUs lately that the regular Red Racer we have, this their uh, India Pale Ale, I was finding stuff that was from September of last year. So that is quite old. Like that's half a year old now like so and there was a noticeable decrease in the quality of the beer uh, tasted like I mean it didn't taste bad but it definitely did not taste like how Red Racer is supposed to actually taste it tasted like orange carbonated orange juice essentially and um, yeah I don't really want that uh, so I'm getting a little pissed off with some of this old shit that's showing up in the NSLC <coughs> sitting on the shelves, excuse me. But yeah, we're going to open this up and see what we think. Give it a shot. Just keep in mind that it is a little old. So, those of you who've had it fresh might take some, um, wow. That was a bad pour. Yeah, so I'll just wait for this uh, dill weed to die down a little bit, eh? <laughs> Indeed, my friends. She is pretty clear, though. Pretty much a straight up, nice, clear, um, golden strawish amber kind of color there. Very light amber. Actually kind of looks like apple juice. The head's definitely a bit more fluffy than it should be just because the pour. Um, see, the thing is I didn't want to uh, tilt it too much because it um, was a little little reactive when I opened it. So I had a bunch of foam right in the actual, on top of the can as soon as I opened it. And to tilt it too much would have just put it all over my lap and I'm not really into that. So, But yeah, here we go. That looks pretty good. Foamy head there. Kind of, almost kind of soap sudsy. Right to the aroma. So if you smell regular Red Racer IPA, uh, this essentially smells like that without as much malt coming up. Uh, you're pretty much just getting the hops, and even the hops are. Hmm. Does smell good though. Uh, I must say, we must have a. A can that's lasted, held out. Um, it's a very fresh, juicy hop smell. Yeah, it smells very good. Usual kind of citrusy uh, notes here. A little bit of um, pineapple. Definitely uh, pretty prominent in this one. A pineapple, tangerine, maybe peach within that sort of um, 
range. So we'll go right to the taste. Cheers. Oh, that's quite light. Yeah, almost no no body to it at all, really. So easy to drink. Um, and that's what these are supposed to be, right? The hot presence is there. It's flavorful. It's not super big. It's not super bitter. I could, Honestly, I could actually use a bit more bittering at the end of this. Uh, maybe just a little bit more dryness, but what's there is nice and appreciated. The hop flavors um, come right right from the smell. Just translates right to the flavors, pretty much. Just through your tropical flavors, kind of like pineapple, various citrus uh, sort of thing going on. Not super complex or nothing like that, but very nice. Yeah, this is very refreshing. It definitely does have a bit more flavor than some of the other um, sort of session uh, IPAs I've had. Kind of a deceptive marketing to call it India Session Ale, don't you think? Because when you think of that, you're thinking immediately IPA, and IPAs really should be in... When, when you're considering them, they should really be in a certain alcohol bracket and then above. Um, but all this stuff is like 4% or less. Why not just call it a hopped session ale? I guess the India session ale is more marketable to people. That, that catches your eye. You see India, Indian, anything like that, then people are going to gravitate towards it. Just to call it a hopped session... Oh, excuse me again. Just to call it a hop session ale is, I guess it's probably a marketing faux pas, probably not a good idea, but it's more honest, isn't it? Because that's really what it is. It's, you know. <sighs> this is good. There's even a little bit of malt in there. A little bit of caramelly malt. It is just a very well toned down version of Red Racer. And it's really well done. So I'm going to stop rambling now and get my rating. That is going to get... Just overall as a drink, I really enjoy it. Uh, it's something I could drink all day. Uh, very nice. I'm going to give that a 4 out of 5. As far as the session ales I've had, um, if, if, if I was to rate it by style... I'd probably go as high as like a 4 or 5, or maybe even edging towards 4.75 out of 5. It's actually that good. Um, good flavor. Like I said, the only drawback I have from this one is maybe not enough dryness on the back. I need a little bit more crisp character to it. Just a little bit more, make it a little bit more refreshing. But other than that, it's really spot on excellent. So, Red Racer, ISA with the hot little red head on the red racer.